Ladies and gents, boys and girls, we're back here with another shoe review. I know I'm wearing the same outfit as another shoe review. That's because I'm doing it all together in the same day so I can get these done and out of the way. Another shoe I've been running in recently that I thought I really... I really hated when I first put this shoe on. Gosh dang, it sucked. But I really started to enjoy now recently is... This is an older one again. The Skechers Go Run Razor 3. Um, honestly, I love the look of this. Like, it looks like a machine, kind of. It's white. It's got these... I like the blue and yellow like that Skechers is known for with the black. It's just, it's cool. It's got streaks. It's got like the little like letters and words on here. What does this even say? Yeah, it looks like a freaking math equation or formula down here on the the hyperburst foam of the shoe. Let's see if we can see that a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what it means, honestly, but whatever. Hyperburst, something a lot of people have been talking about. This model does not have the... Uh, Goodyear rubber on it, but it does have so, a good amount of rubber strategically placed on it. Not like an excessive amount. I think one might say the perfect amount, but it is pretty thin. You can't even see it really from the side. Um, super light. I think this thing like weighs under five ounces. I'm pretty sure. I wear a size eight. This thing practically floats. It feels like nothing. Gosh dang. But that leads to a few a few issues I have with it, honestly. I got this shoe probably in at the end of March or early April, and I ran in it one time, and it was raining that day, I think. It was cold. I just didn't like it that much. It felt stiff, felt crappy. Uh, it's a four millimeter drop. It's the first, probably one of the first shoes I've ran in with a four millimeter drop in a long time, but I just didn't like it. Um, I was kind of unimpressed by the foam. I mean, if you like push into this, it doesn't really squish too much. It's very firm, it's very stiff. And I think maybe I just didn't give it a good chance. The insole's nice, soft and padded. Hold on, is it removable? No, I don't think it's removable. I don't think this insole you can take out. No, either that or it's really placed in there well. But it's soft, it feels nice. It's a really nice insole in there. And when you step in the shoe, it definitely is a unique feeling. The hyperburst feel is definitely unique. It feels really great. What I did not like about this shoe is like it's 130 bucks. I got it off of Amazon. Um, very expensive, because I don't think I could get it on the Skechers website. I think they were sold out, but they had it on Amazon. It was $130. I don't think this shoe was even close. To, I don't even think this is worth $100, to be honest. It's it's Skechers. Uh, it's, I know it's like their, like their performance line. I do, and a lot of people complain about like the speed being on the side. I love it, because I'm all about, I'm all about, you know, showboating. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not. But for, I mean, it's super light, but for $130, you don't think you'd get creases on the upper like this. Like this is just like permanently dented in. And like, it's stiff. This sucker is stiff. It's, the material's scratchy. It's, it feels crappy, honestly. It just feels cheap. It's like some weird, harsh type mesh type stuff and it's just cheap feeling. It's creasing. When I run in it, like, there's no, hardly any give. Like I'm pressing pretty firmly and like, so it's like the toe box is just tight. Like I don't feel like my feet can splay in it. I don't feel like my toes can come up. There's like, it's just locked in, which I guess if you want that locked in for speed or whatever, and you're just like, -da 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 Naruto running through the place, that might work for you. It doesn't for me. I like to have like that free feeling. I know I like my feet to be healthy and stuff, but I was getting some hot spots around here on the pinky toe. It just felt like it was a little too tight for me. Not the fit, like I had plenty of room in the, t like, you know, from my, like my big toe to the end of the shoe. I definitely sized correctly, which is size eight, true to size. I would go with that. It's just like right here, I had some rubbing on the foot. I think it's a bit narrow, perhaps. The rubber, been running this. Um, interestingly enough, right here on the heel, like you see, this is dirty, but like the heel part, is like still kind of green. So like, I don't think I'm hitting right there. Like most shoes, like they cause me to like hit outside of the heel or whatever. I try to run forefoot or midfoot. And I think this is doing a good job cause like this is all about like their M strike thing. That's what they call it, their M strike. And they want you to hit mid midfoot. And I think it's working because this is bright green and the dirt is all in the midfoot area and in the, the front. On the front a little bit, it's a little cleaner too, but this rubber's holding up pretty well. It had more nubs and traction on it. Those are, like you can see the remnants of it, but they're all kind of like flattened and smooth, worn out. Um, some dirt in here. 
this foam, this exposed foam is actually not like chewed up or disintegrated at all. So it's pretty durable, their foam actually. Uh, I did not expect that. I thought it'd be like riddled with marks and holes and stuff. So I do run on gravel sometimes and it doesn't have any like chunks in it. It looks actually pretty pretty freaking clean honestly uh there's no it's not like like i said it's not chewed up or disintegrated uh at first i ran in this shoe and i just didn't like it and then i started wearing it to walk around in and it it is getting some like creasing right here on the inside part of the shoe um and on the outside part of the shoe near the logo i don't know if you can see it's hard because it's black but um It's hard because it's black, but you can see some of the creasing right here going on where it's starting to collapse. Uh, there's me trying to squish it a little bit. It's so, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's durable though. I mean, look at that. I've been running in this sucker and it's not been running in this sucker and it's not eaten up yet. Definitely put enough miles on it to, to know that I like it. I like it better than the Fuel Cell Rebel, but I don't like it as much as, again, the Zante Pursuit or something that's like knit and has like a nice flexibility to it. Lacing system's good. Tight, stays tight and tied. Uh, tongue is like very, very thin. It's a padded, so you probably can't see it, but it's padded in there. It's a nice thick blue, well, at least in this model, padding. It's actually really nice. It's uh, thick, it's comfortable on the outside. It's like got this mesh stuff, but on the inside, it's a smooth, this smooth padding. It feels good on top of the foot, but up here towards the top, it's like this thin felt stuff, very thin tongue. It's nice. Tongue does not bother me, does not slip. Um, yeah, I, I had no problems with the tongue. Heel. Um, there you go, that's it. I mean, it's got like this slight heel cup. Doesn't rub, didn't for me anyway. It comes up around it. Really soft in here, sock liner. It's nice, I had no issues with that. Just this part of the foot sucked hyperburst foam unique feeling responsive quick i enjoy it when i'm running like a mile and a half two miles i love picking up this shoe you can really just put on the pace i wouldn't say this thing soaks up miles essentially this is um i think this is a great shoe for a mile or two three miles maybe 5k fantastic i would not i personally wouldn't try to do a marathon or a half in it but Sucker's pretty good, I think, for a 5K or 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 less. Maybe a 10K, if you're feeling up to it. It's stiff, it's rigid, it's got the speed. Foam feels great. It's definitely unique, nothing like it. Uh, check it out, go run Razor 3. Like I said, four millimeter drop, yeah. I'm not gonna weigh, I don't have a scale. I'm not trying to be fancy for you guys, I'm just trying to give you an honest runner's opinion. It's all right. I, I don't know how many stars I'd give it. Maybe like three and a half or four out of five. Nah, four out of five is too good. I usually give like things I really like four out of five. I'd say three and a half. It's good. It's good. Check it out. If you get the chance, hopefully it's less. I know that they, I think they made the Razor 3 Plus or something now. So maybe get that one instead. I think it's got Goodyear rubber and, and, and an updated upper. Uh, I'll have to check that out myself. But anyway, you guys take it easy. As always, stay natty. Team Natty out.